Hello friends, this is complex analysis lecture number two. Okay, in the last lecture we have uh, you know discussed about complex numbers. Okay, I have given a brief revision of complex numbers and there is a metrical representation. Okay. So in this video we're gonna solve uh, you know a few problems uh, based on the last class. How to find modulus? How to find argument? And how to express a complex number in polar form? Okay, we can solve a problem based on this, uh, you know, discussion of the last class. Then, in the next video, we're gonna move on to Euler's formula, right? So, so before we start solving problem, please subscribe the channel if you are new to my channel. Also, hit the thumbs up button uh, if you like my videos and share with your friends inspire me to create new contents for you okay and uh, don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get notified when new video will be uploaded and when the next part of this uh, you know video series will be uploaded uh, you know uh, the next part gonna appear at the end of this screen uh, end of this video when it gonna be uploaded okay so now let's start so here you see we need to find modulus argument of this complex number also we need to uh, you know express in express it in polar form right so our given complex number is minus root 3 minus i right so if you compare with this uh, a plus i b then you here you're gonna have a is equal to minus root 3 and b is equal to minus 1 because you can consider this one as minus i into 1 right so hope you know these things so now first we need to find modulus modulus r uh, sorry r is equal to modulus of z that means the modulus of the given complex number which is equal to a square plus b square so in this case we can write minus root 3 square plus minus 1 square and that's going to be equal to 3 plus 1 which is going to be equal to root 4 and that is 2 right we have got the modulus so here is the modulus right so now let's find the argument so first we're going to find 10 alpha right which is equal to minus b uh, which is equal to b by a here mod of b by a your b is minus 1 a is minus root 3 and that's going to be 1 by root 3 and we know that uh, 10 10 30 is root 3 10 30 means you can say pi by 6 10 pi by 6 is 1 by root 3 okay so in that case alpha gonna be equal to pi by 6 okay now you see as in the last lecture i have told you that if the you know uh, if the complex number the point representing the complex number is in first quadrant then the if this uh, if the line joining the origin and the point representing the complex number produce alpha angle with positive x-axis then you know uh, your argument theta gonna be same here uh, but uh, when it is in second quadrant you know alpha gonna be equal to this angle so in that case your argument gonna be this angle that is uh, theta is equal to in this case uh, pi minus alpha so when it is in uh, fourth quadrant okay if this is the alpha then your argument gonna be equal to minus alpha when it is in fourth quadrant in case of fourth quadrant uh, if this is alpha then the argument theta gonna be equal to minus pi here within bracket minus pi minus alpha that's gonna be minus pi plus alpha you can say that right now here you can see that <coughs> the point representing this complex number the point representing this complex number which is minus root 3 and minus i into 1 you can say its corresponding point is minus root 3 comma minus 1 so which must be lying in the fourth quadrant okay so that's why here argument since the point representing z is in 
fourth quadrant so argument of z is theta which is equal to minus pi uh, minus within bracket pi plus alpha that's going to be minus pi plus pi by 6 sorry that, that should be minus here it should be minus as i have given here minus okay. so here it should be minus right and you see if you calculate this then minus 5 pi by 6 right so this is the argument right now we need to express this in polar form okay we need to express this in polar form so what we have got we have got r so let me take uh, we need r here in order to find the polar form so let me copy this r let me go to the new slide so this is the modulus r and we have got the argument as well uh, argument z is equal to minus 5 by 6 we have got argument of z which is equal to minus 5 by minus 5 pi by 6 okay so in polar form so how to write a complex number in polar form that is r cos theta plus i sine theta right so here r is 2 and cos theta cos theta is theta is minus 5 pi by 6 and plus i sine minus 5 pi by 6 number 2 now you see a s t c and in the fourth quadrant where the angle is uh, you can say minus something minus 5 pi by 6 so when theta is negative that means you can say it is in fourth quadrant now <coughs> In fourth quadrant it is the quadrant of cos so that's why we used to write minus cos theta is plus cos theta right sorry cos minus theta is cos theta simply so that's why here we can write cos pi 5 pi by 6 and here and sine minus theta that is equal to minus sine theta because you see sine is uh, second quadrant is the sine you know uh, quadrant of sine and negative angle means it is in fourth quadrant which is not the quadrant of sine so that's why we used to write minus here if the angle is negative okay so this is the polar form of this given complex number so hope you have understood this how to express a uh, you know complex number in polar form so let me take another complex number so here you see z is equal to suppose uh, z is equal to we have root over 1 plus i cap 1 minus i cap 1 plus i cap by 1 minus i cap first uh, step here we have to simplify this complex number first we have to express in a plus i v form okay so that is our first step so here you see let's uh, multiply both the numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the denominator what is the denominator here denominator is 1 minus i and what gonna be its conjugate conjugate gonna be 1 plus i right and 1 plus i should be multiplied with both the numerator and denominator so here it gonna be square so in that case 1 plus i whole square and here a plus b into a minus b that's gonna be a square minus b square that means in this case one is square minus i is square so we're gonna get one is square minus i is square right here one is square minus i is square right so here you can see that uh, you know i is square is nothing but minus one one uh, one is square minus i square i square is minus one so one is square is one i square is minus one so that's why it's going to be one plus one which is equal to two right so here we're going to have uh, one plus i whole square 
by 2 that's what we're gonna have right so and if you take the square then what we're gonna have we're gonna have 1 plus i by root 2 okay so that is equal to 1 by root 2 plus i into 1 by root 2 that's what we're gonna have so here you know if you compare with this a plus ib then here a is 1 by root 2 and b is also 1 by root 2 right so in that case uh, uh, what gonna be the modulus of z mod of z gonna be equal to root over a square that is 1 by root 2 square sorry let me write it properly 1 by 2 square 1 by root 2 square plus again 1 by root 2 square right so that means we have 2 1 by root 2 square so 1 by root 2 square and squaring this what we're going to have we're going to have 1 by 2 simply 1 by 2 and 2 to gone we have root 1 which is equal to nothing but 1 and similarly uh, in order to find the argument we're going to find 10 alpha first which is mod of b by a so in this case a you see b is 1 by root 2 a is also 1 by root 2 that's why it's going to be equal to simply 1 right that's going to be equal to 1 and we know that 10 45 so 10 pi by 4 is 1 so that's why we can say alpha is equal to pi by 4 now as you can see the point representing this uh, here you see both a and b are positive so point representing the complex number z is in the first quadrant okay so it is in the first quadrant so this alpha makes with uh, is made with uh, positive x-axis that's why it's gonna be the itself gonna be the you know argument so that's why uh, is is the point representing z is in first quadrant therefore argument of z argument of z is simply theta is equal to here alpha that's going to be equal to pi by 4 so we have got argument and we have got modulus we have got the value of r and we have got the value of theta so we have got argument uh, modulus uh, r we have got it one and we have got argument of z which is theta is equal to pi by 4 so we have got this right so this is the value of r and this is the value of theta right so therefore complex form of z is z is equal to r cos theta plus i sin theta and r is simply 1 and cos theta is pi by 4 and sine theta is also pi by 4 here so this is the complex form simply you can write cos pi by 4 plus i sine pi by 4 so hope you have understood how to find uh, modulus how to find argument how to express a uh, complex number in polar form right so in the next class we're going to be discussing about uh, euler's formula so we, uh, so stay connected and that video going to appear at the end of this video if uh, uh, sorry when it going to be uploaded okay it's going to appear at the end of this uh, video okay so if you need the link of the previous lecture that is given in the description box okay so thank you for watching see you in the next video